I'm Allie with Allie's Organics. We're going to go over some quick and easy steps for growing microgreens right at home. Microgreens are tiny, tender, flavorful vegetables or herbs that are harvested at a very young age. To grow your microgreens at home, there's a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need a tray without any holes, and then you're going to need a good potting soil that is organic, and a clear lid to go over the top to keep the humidity in, and of course you're going to need some seeds. We like to use beet seeds, peas, you can use basil sunflower seeds, they're delicious, or a mixture of all of these. A spray bottle, pour some water, and then we also use paper towel. You can use unbleached, of course. Take your potting soil, pour it in your tray. You want about a half of an inch to three quarters of an inch of potting soil. Smooth this out. we're going to use a mixture of brassica. This has broccoli in it, kohlrabi, and cabbage. You want to take your seeds and spread them pretty liberally. Definitely thicker than what you do in the garden. Now take some more soil and put it over the top of it. Just a little bit. Just barely covering your seeds and tamp it down. The soil is moist but not moist enough. I like to put a paper towel over the top of this. That way when I water it the seeds don't wash out. Moisten the soil just enough to where it's not soggy. The other thing about the paper towel that's nice is when it starts to dry out you know it's time to water. So that's where a spray bottle comes in handy. And you can just mist it. Then you can take your lid, your clear lid. We like to use the Nanodome kit. It has vents in it, so then once you have condensation build up and you get too much, you can open the little vents. Put it over the top. You should see seed germination in as little as two days, depending on seed variety and temperature of the room. Once your seeds have germinated and they've grown up to an inch tall, remove the paper towel, go ahead and mist them, keep the lid on until they've reached two inches tall. Then it's time to harvest. These tender greens are ready to harvest at two inches. Just simply come in, cut off their stems and their tops. You can run these through a salad spinner to clean them off a little bit. Make sure that they're dry before you use them. Top them on top of salads, on a sandwich. You can even juice these. Give microgreens a try. They're fun and easy any time of year. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Allie with Allie's Organics. Happy gardening.